what's going on in the true world i'm back with another video so i hope you guys watch my last video i did it on my short term and long term goals so go watch that don't forget to like my videos don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell okay so that you can get updated whenever i post a video as you guys know i post videos monday through friday at 6 30 a.m so be looking out for my videos. I'm going to begin to say that in every video so that you can, you know, get the hang up knowing my schedule. So today's video is basically going to be advice to new parents, soon to be parents, or people that, you know, trying to have a baby. Sometimes we don't, we don't always, you know, we don't know things when we're having a baby. So some of the stuff that I wrote down, I wish that someone would have told me when I started to have kids. So the first one is, you're not going to know everything, which is okay because some things come natural, some things don't. Some things you, is common sense and some things you just have to learn. So, it's okay. The next one is, if help is being offered, take it. So I know sometimes we want to do things on our own, but when you don't have kids and you're freshly, you're a new parent, then sometimes the help is needed because you get overwhelmed and everything and it's it's needed even when you're a you're an experienced parent the help is needed when having a new child um the next one is your baby your, your decision don't let anyone tell you what you need to do or what you should do or what you have to do for your baby whatever you decide is best for your child that's your decision. Don't let anyone else affect the decision that you make for your child. The next one is buy the essentials that your child will need. Um, I feel like, you know, when you have a new child, people just want to go out and buy everything. And that's okay, but um, I also learned that if you buy too many things when having a child, some of those things the kids won't be able to use. So... You basically, I mean, you can give it away to someone that's that is in need of it, or you know, you can sell it and all of that. But I feel like it's a waste of money when you buy too many things, knowing that your child is not going to use some of it. Um, the next one is it's okay for you to constantly want to love on your child. So you know how when people say when you have a child. Don't hold the baby too much. You're going to spoil the baby. That's your decision. If you want to hold your baby all the time and give your baby your undivided love and attention, it's okay because it's your child. They, Those people don't have to take care of your child. You do. So that is your decision. And me, all three of my kids are, are as people say, spoiled, which is fine with me because they are, that my kids are with me and my husband. 24 7 is rarely when they are out of our eyesight so i really don't care about that part um don't let your emotions toward the other parent affect you not letting them see their child so i know um a lot of people have problems with their child's other parent and they let those emotions and feelings take over they let those emotions and feelings take over them thinking about their child and what their child needs. So, don't let your emotions dictate whether you let your child, let the, fa the father or the mother or your child be in their life. Um, the, I can't stress this one enough. Food is food. Now, I breastfed with all three of my kids, but I only exclusively breastfed with my last child, which is my daughter. But my two boys, I breastfed and formula fed. Food is food. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to breastfeed in order for the, your kids to be getting nutrients and being able to be fed. As long as your baby is fed, then that is fine. You're not a bad parent because you don't you haven't breastfed or you 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 and the other parent is not choosing to is choosing not to breastfeed. Um. Now this one is really important. Get all the sleep you can before the child gets here. 
because Lord knows you lose a lot of sleep once you have to take care of a baby or a child because I tell you every night I get the max of probably five to six hours of sleep when my kids get at least 10 or 12 hours because I probably gonna, don't go to sleep until like at least 11 or 12 every night. When I say every night, every night. It's just I got used to not getting sleep there. Now I'm not able to get sleep now that my daughter is about to be two and she sleeps all night. It's, I still don't get sleep. So cherish the sleeping time while before the baby gets here because you're going to need it and you're going to want it. Um, This one. Don't leave your baby around. Don't leave your baby with everyone. Everybody is not to be trusted. You have child molesters. You have abusers. You have all these type of people. Just because you've known somebody for a long time doesn't necessarily mean that you know them. You don't know. especially I say especially a child that's not able to talk or defend themselves. You know, they can't tell you what's going on when you leave them in the care of someone else. So, like, don't just leave your kids around anybody. Like me, n no one gets my kids. No one. The only person that gets my kids, baby, hush, hush. No one gets my kids at all. No one. Like, it was a long period of time that I didn't allow my kids to spend the night over anyone's house. Like, I let my kids go over my sister-in-law house and my sister house, and I let them go over my mom house and, you know, my dad house. But as far as like anyone else, no, I'm not going for sleepovers. I'm not going for going with other people's parents because I don't trust anyone when it comes to my kids. Last but not least, and I got it in bold letters when I wrote it down, protect your baby, protect your kids. Like I hear so many people saying that they was abused. Or they was molested or raped and everything. And their kids, I mean their parents didn't believe them. Your kids come first. Don't believe anyone else over your kids. So if my kids today was to tell me something happened to them, I would believe them. I would take every point of measure to protect them. Me, I'll go to jail for my kids. And that's just, just, that's just me being honest. Because your kids did not ask to be here. Your kids did not ask to be here, so you are obligated to protect them at all costs, no matter what it is. Protect your kids because they did not ask to be here. So, that is all the advice that I have for you today. Let me know. Let me know what other type of advice videos that you guys would like to see. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time a video is posted and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my videos go watch some of my old videos share with a friend or a friend of a friend don't forget to share and don't forget to hit that notification bell when you subscribe i love you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.